Hi everyone, just wanted to take a minute to look at an example of solving a quadratic equation where we are going to use square roots. So this one is a bit of a tough one just from the get-go, so it's important to make sure um, we can solve a problem like this so that we are comfortable um, simplifying a variety of different square root problems. So the first thing that we need to do when we are simplifying, um, sorry, solving a quadratic equation where we're going to use square roots um, is we are going to get the squared term by itself. Now in this sense, uh, we could uh, multiply all this out, but it's really not going to help us. There's an easier way to do it. So we can get these by themselves first, uh, this uh, term with the square by itself first. So if I add the 24 to both sides, I end up with 3 times 5x plus 7 squared is equal to 12. Now, conveniently, 12 is divisible by 3, so we luck out on that one. So when we divide by 3, we divide by 3. So I end up in a scenario where I have 5x plus 7, 7, there we go, squared is equal to 4. Now, I take the square root of both sides to get rid of that squared. Now, when I do that, I end up in a scenario where I have 5x plus 7. And this, we need to be careful at this point, because it's not 2, it's plus or minus 2. And that's because we're dealing with an equation in this case. Um, we, we don't know if it's the positive or the negative just off of the information that we have. So we have to look at both situations in this case. So we, that does mean, though, that we're going to be dealing with essentially two different equations. You could leave it as the plus or minus 2, or what you could do is you could rewrite it as two different situations. So you could rewrite it as 5x plus 7 equals 2, and then 5x plus 7 equals negative 2. It's okay, however you choose to write it. Um, if I write it this way, you'll see a little bit more clearly how to solve it. So we're going to subtract the 7, subtract the 7, and then a 7, and then a 7. And remember, these are two different equations, so we need to do everything essentially four times so that we are um, balancing both sides of each equation. 5x equals negative 5. 5x equals negative 9. I do want to point out, by the way, as well, when we're taking the square root here, if you didn't end up with a perfect square, um, you would have to try and simplify what was under the radical. And if you had a radical in the denominator, remember you should rationalize the denominator. So I'll divide by 5. Divide by 5. I get x equals negative 1. Divide by 5. Divide by 5, I'm going to get x equals negative 9 fifths. So you do need to be careful when you're dealing with these particular problems, um, because so often when you're solving a quadratic equation with a square root, you end up with just a plus or minus 6 or a plus or minus root 2 or something like that. Um, so it's important to see that you could end up in a scenario where you're adding things to your uh, square roots after you've done that part. So I hope this helps. Best of luck when you are working on these, and have a great day.